Ireland are after beating Georgia 1 0. Thanks to a Conor Hurran free kick. I'm here with Joe, some of you might know as uh, Irish Abroad on Twitter. I'm okay to say that. Yeah. I can clip it out if you're not happy with it. That's okay. Um, basically, getting his thoughts on the game. What are your thoughts on the game? For a man who covers Ireland from all over the place, I, I, I want to get your views. So tell me, tell me how you're feeling after that. I feel pretty good. Like the, the team were positive, they're looking to get forward. You know, looking to create, moving to space. You know, they were working hard for each other. McGoldrick up front. You know, he never stopped moving. This fully deserves man in the match. Um, but he was absolutely dead in his feet when he came off. Um, I think it's kind of you kind of try to balance the last game against Gibraltar when it was just a horrible, horrible game of football against that, where it was good performance. It was a home crowd. We're behind the team, willing them forward. Um, you know, I think there's a uh, there's a lot to be hopeful for under Mick McCarthy in the next you know 18 months uh, until until Euro 2020. Um, hope to see more of Huron uh, with free kicks. Um, I hope so we might see a couple of debuts off the bench, maybe Jack Byrne, maybe uh, maybe Collins, but it didn't happen. For I think for goals reason. may have been. Yeah, the I think yeah that was that was obviously his his. Uh, his what he was looking for um, and you know he did finish he only brought on two substitutes as well but I mean these are minor complaints you know, you know. yeah yeah of course um, but from, from, from sorry to cut you off but just in regards people were moaning and complaining then we started um, Sean McGuire dropped Matt Doherty dropped I mean I thought personally from a tactics perspective alone everyone has seen Matt Doherty get on the ball and, and, and go at teams and score goals um, maybe that's going to be a future thing but for, for the game that was in it I think that's tactics spot on. Yeah, what did you think? Uh, I think Whelan fully justified his inclusion. Possibly could have got the man in a match. I think he award. did on RT. I'm not sure, but I did see him getting interviewed. Or, or maybe uh, around. I don't know. Like uh, I was listening to a radio commentary and uh, they announced this McGoldrick, and I think even over the the stadium announcer announced it as uh, number 13, which I think Hendrick was wearing. Yeah. And then so he was like, and then he kind of said, matches. then he changed it to to McGoldrick. We, I think got the the actual man in a match. Yeah. But uh, yeah, Whelan, I think he played a role similar to what he does for Villa, just sitting in front of the back four receiving possession you know looking to, to spray the ball forward which is in a role he's had to do for Ireland in the recent past you know he's kind of played a little bit further forward again and he just looked a lot more comfortable uh, while doing what he was doing to, uh, tonight so again you know if he gets picked for the next game I don't think anyone can complain about it um, he, again he'll, uh, he'll have fully justified it on, uh, on form um, Maguire you know, you can understand. Uh, he was, you know, you can understand. He didn't play as well as you might have thought against Gibraltar, you know. And we knew that it was going to be a much more physical side uh, in, from Georgia. So maybe that played into it. Um, I think as well, though, is the fact that he can't play so many games in a short span of time. Yeah. I think his hamstring gives way, and you know, it was, it was made known that with Preston. So that yeah. might have been a factor towards that yeah. as well. You know. Plus, you know, playing on the the artificial pitch on uh, on Saturday definitely didn't do him any favors. Um, You'd have to wonder as well, like in the future, we've got so many really top quality strikers coming through. Is he going to get a chance, you know, to to help to, to play to score for his country? Which I think he's he's kind of deserved ever since you know since he his days at Cork City. Um, but look, I'm looking forward to the next game. We got a great result uh, in the, the other game in the group in, in Basel with uh, Demer coming back uh, to score three times in the last 10 minutes. So, you know, we're top of the group tonight. And, um, you know, that, that has to be a positive. Yeah, 100%. I was sitting here with, uh, in the Aviva two weeks ago with McCarthy. So we were sitting here with six points from six to top it all off. And the icing on the cake is we're actually top of the group now. We're in a very good situation going into the, the next game. So we're obviously playing harder opposition, but we're in a very good um, predicament at the moment. How happy are you now that we're at top of the group and there's just a bit of positivity yeah. back? Re regards the tennis balls and stuff like that, we'll cover that you know, at a later time, but just in regards to the football team and just the football alone, how happy were you that we're top of the group and we're going in now into June top of the group yeah I'm, look I genuinely I really am feeling very positive after that game um, looking forward to the two games in June I think we can take at least four points from the two games um, you know fingers crossed and that sets us up for a great end to the, to the year you know I think it's um, it's been a really good week for Irish football yeah, you know the, the under 17s or sorry the under 19s top the group and you know they're going to be playing a tournament in the summer the the uh, 
the under 21s. Uh, you know, they looked really good against Luxembourg at the weekend. Um, we've got a really good sum. You know, the under 17s will be hosting the tournament here in May. So, you know, we've got a lot to look forward to the next couple of months of Irish football. So, um, yeah, I'm very happy. Looking forward to the next couple of games. It's, uh, that's all that's left, that's all really left to say. Absolutely. Huge thanks to Joe. Check, check out, I, I really mean this. He covers all the players that play for more abroad, and I really think you should go and check out his Twitter account, Irish underscore abroad, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it. on Twitter, and you know you get all the information about all the players that are abroad. But is it, is it just England or uh, England, Scotland, and MLS for now? Might build on that, yeah. see how things go. But seriously, check him out, and uh, huge thanks for for your time. All right, no appreciate nice that. To meet you. Come on, you boys in green.